What up, Metazoo Maniacs? Today's November 29, 2024, and look who's back. It's the alternate art Metazoo Tops Chrome Super Fractor Mothman, this time as a PSA 9. And when I say this time, it's because it's not the first time we've seen this card. Long time ago in 2023, Emilio Sandoval pulled this card. It isn't the name Emilio, isn't that, um, I don't know if it's the same guy, but that did like commentary for all the tower tournaments and doesn't isn't there an Emilio that works with Bailey with encrypted camp don't know if it's the same guy or not and then boom Bailey bought the card from Emilio for $31,000 so here we can see the post from Bailey himself not sure about the rumors going around but not just a bounty on the 101 pull tonight I have a bounty on the other two my offer is $31,000 for the card pull tonight so eventually Bailey did, you know, he did buy this card from Emilio for $31,000. And what I always found really weird about that was the fact when the other 101 Mothman was pulled and graded as a PSA 9, it sold for only $11,100. And it was Nick Strength and Pokemon that bought this card for $11,100. Now I always thought the $31,000 bounty was weird because if you're going to pay $31,000 for a raw alternate art Mothman Super Factor, this card you're looking at right now, the 101 original art Mothman Super Fractor from Topps Chrome, it was actually on eBay at one point for $16,000 or buy it now. And then eventually they put it into auction and then it got all the way up to 11100 and Nick Strength of Pokemon bought it. So if Bailey bought it for $31,000, then why didn't he win this auction? And when it was $16,000 or best offer, why didn't he pick it up then when it's like literally half the price of what he paid for the other one meanwhile he also put out a bounty for twenty thousand dollars on the 101 mothman cryptid camera which has never been pulled or at least no one knows if it's been pulled but yet he paid thirty one thousand dollars for the other one but didn't pick this one up and then as we all know later on nick strength and pokemon sold this card for about three thousand six hundred dollars when metasu decided to file for bankruptcy so my question is, how much do you think this card's going to sell for? It's up to $500 in auction right now. Do you think it's going to break $3,600? That's what Nick Strength and Pokemon sold his other Mothman, the other 101. That's how much Nick Strength and Pokemon sold this one at the uh, one Metazoo filed for bankruptcy. So bought it for $11,100, sold it for about $3,600. But now that we know Metazoo's obviously back and going to be like better than ever, like better than anyone could even predict do you think this is going to sell for more than three thousand six hundred dollars or less and where do you rank this against the sample mothman that sold for four thousand fifty dollars twice within two weeks and another question if you comment below which super fractor do you like better i think a lot of people like this one better the original art mothman over the alternate art but i mean they're both super fractors both graded psa 9 comment below and let me know what you think this is crazy i can't wait to see what this sells for and we'll see you in the next video.